I haven't had a show in about a month or so where I do the entire season, but I'm going to do this for winning time because I really enjoy season one. I recapped season one. That's up on the channel. And, you know, I was I was entertained by it. So this is a show about the Lakers in the 80s. And all of these dudes was wild boys. They was rock stars back in the day. But let's check out the trailer. See what season two going to be about. <laughs> Do you think the Lakers can win another title? You bet. Any advice for your opponents? Better watch out. Back, back, baby. Basketball's the sport of the decade. We got the kids on the team now. The bus Empire is taking off. We brought home the gold. Well, one ring ain't gonna keep us in that room. See, Magic really Look, set up the uh, NBA. Set it off. You know why nobody repeats? Him and Bird. Because the guys that you beat along the way they spent all that time figuring out new ways to break you down. They're yep. fucking girls. They're sissy fans. We're LA. We built this team to win. Change. I am in charge, not magic. A real coach Yo. doesn't need to prove it, Paul. It yeah. seemed like they going season the like 81, 82, 83. Others would wonder whether or not they belong. Would you say your head coach, interim coach, or? You look good in that chair. That'd be something, huh? A woman on it. You can bring him home a hundred trophies. You're never gonna be his favorite son. Your dad passed They're it down. The dynasty. We're the flash in the paint. And that's all we're ever gonna beat. Until we beat the goddamn Celtics. Fuck Boston. Everybody's a fucking hero in their driveway. This fire. Put them on this the is fire. Lights. Most of them are praying that the ball don't come to them. One guy's praying that it does. Wow. This is this was fire, man. And I wonder how far are they gonna actually go with this. Like, are they gonna take them into the nineties and? You know, the 2000s, you know, because they really could with the winning time with it being the Lakers and just go all the way through. But, uh, yeah, man, it'd be dope to see, like, how it actually was in the 80s, you know, and that rivalry between Magic and Bird. I know they didn't, you know, you know, like each other as they was going through it. And then, you know, they friends now. But, man, it would have been dope to actually see it and live through that period. I know it was a great time. I feel like Bird and Magic are still all-time, all-time great players. I got both of them in my top 10 still today, you know, and I was too young to see either one of them play, but just watching the highlights, both of them were great players, and they had great teams around them, so, you know, it's going to be dope to see them go head-to-head -head again in season two, because I think last season, LA played Philly, but I think this season they actually playing uh, uh, Bird and the Celtics in the finals. Now, the thing is, I don't know if they going to just go season by season. Because if they do, this show going to be on for a while. Because at the beginning of season one, they started it with Magic's announcement, right? Because it is about the Lakers. They start with Magic announcement, you know, when he had to lead the game. If they go season by season, it's going to be 10 seasons. Easy. You know, so I'm wondering when they're going to do their time jumps, if they're going to do time jumps. But, you know, I'm here for it. Seeing Magic, Bird, Kareem, James Worthy, you know, all of them on screen at one time, Dr. J. You know, this this is this is real dope that they're doing this. I will say, because people have asked me, 
especially when I did uh did the recap in season one. Who did I think was better? I gotta be honest. I think Bird is a better player than Magic. You know, I think Magic had a lot more around him than Bird had. You know, and not saying Bird didn't have nothing. Bird had an all-time, all-time great team with Kevin McHale and Parrish and all these. He had an all-time, all-time great team. That front court is probably the best front court ever. Small forward, power forward, center. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you could find something better than that. So he had a squad. But I think Magic still had a better squad, dog. Magic and Kareem and James Worthy, that's that's – that's heavy. Magic and Kareem is heavy. That's like having Kobe and Shaq, but then putting, you know, who was a good small forward? Having Kobe and Shaq and then putting T-Mac on the team or something. You know what I'm saying? Like It's like something like that. I'm definitely here for this, man. It's Mac the Guru. Remember, if you're still here and you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and tell me what you think about winning time in the comments. And as always, man, y'all be easy. Be safe.